Right, so the Volvo. Hello, by the way. <laughs> Back with the Volvo. I would have liked to have um, flattened the lacquer back and give it a cut and polish just to get more of a sheen. But I'm scared with this in case it falls apart or anything. Just because of how delicate it is, as we've established throughout this build so far. And getting to the end of it, it would be nice just to give it that overall nice finish. Now, I did originally forget to paint up the um, visor. So I did that the other day. And rather than using the lacquer sprays out of the rattle cans that I've been using, um, I used the Mr. Hobby Super Clear Gloss that I use on my small models because... This stuff is just the bomb. It is the best lacquer gloss you can get. And I'm just gutted that I can't polish this now because the visor has come out like glass. I mean, the reflection in it, you can just see everything clearly. Compared to lacquer out of rattle cans, which tends to have a habit of orange peel to some extent. And it just doesn't give the gloss effect that the... Mr. Hobby clear does. So I'm a bit gutted about that. I really would like to, like I say, get it cut and buffed and polished, but I'm a bit scared of all the handling and the rubbing on it and then the polishing it and putting a little polishing wheel to it and everything else that it's just going to destroy the cab. So never mind because it didn't turn out too bad anyway. Like I say, it'd be just nice to cut the orange peel out but it's it's come up nice and glossy anyway so I can live with that but at the time of painting this truck I'd not come across the Mr Hobby super clear until recently when I've started building other little models and stuff before getting back into the trucks because with the little stuff I do airbrush so I will be airbrushing the Scania when I get around to that not artwork but I will be using the airbrush paints rather than rattle cans because the finishes are much nicer but anyway enough of that because we're here to finish the Volvo so I did get the visor done and the little clips glued up and this does in fact just clip onto there you can see the difference I don't know if the camera will pick it up but there is just a total difference in shine I recommend it to anyone. I've just sorted left hand side of the cab, right hand side of the cab. So we've got like all the mirror parts, everything that's going to go on the left from the door handles, all the little bits and bobs and everything to go on the right hand side of the cab. Just to make it easier for myself. So we're going to track back through the manual a little bit. Not far, but um as I said in the last one that I'd previously constructed stuff in previous videos while waiting for other things like paint and everything else to dry so I've kind of moved through the manual to progress on with other stuff and it's now time to start fitting these bits that I've already done such as the air intake, the rear cab fenders so we're going to get these fitted onto the back of the cab we'll get the air kit fitted onto the cab and then we can start making a start on getting the mirrors on and all the rest of the little details finished on this truck. And then we can move on in the next video to getting the wheels built up. And then that's like finito for this project. And then I can work on the 770S again for my little girl and get that finished for her. So for all these little bits, going to be using all these tiny little screws microscopic stuff now i do have some models to build up on the channel I'm not going to do them all at once but i can make a start on these then i'm not overwhelming myself with trucks like i used to so when i start the 770s and that's going through the paint stages and i'm waiting uh, we can start making a start on some of these builds so this is just a chassis that I've built up. I've built a few of them recently, so we'll ignore that. But we've got the Days of Thunder Mellow yellow car there. We've got an old 90s Dodge Viper. 
some bits for another Subaru that I'll be doing. I've got the Skyline which I've already started. So I'll probably just keep doing that in my own time. And we've got an R33 Skyline for the channel. An Impreza hatch for the channel. And I think my wife wants to do that with me. It's something like kind of we got to do together because she's so into space i love thunderbird so this is a win-win however i do have a thunderbird 2 one of these which i'll do on the channel also so that way i can keep interested in the trucks build the cars everyone's happy especially me anyway so this so for the cab fenders when i was uh constructing this kit the holes they were marked out and I think I had to go through with a small, I can't remember if it was a one mil or a one and a half mil drill bit. And just carefully pierce out the holes. And then we can put those tiny little self tappers through to hold these on. Now then, which way is this going? Like so. Through the little holes on the back, the tiny little screws I've just showed you. And I'm just going to get these screwed up into place. So you don't really need to see me screwing. Unless that's the kind of thing that you're interested in watching. Then let me know in the comments down below. And I'll draw the videos out a bit more. I've got my um, little screwdriver. Into some of those onto there. Easy peasy, just extremely fiddly and small. I put one at the top, and if I put one at the bottom, and then it just holds itself together. And then I'll go ahead and I shall just screw up the rest of them off camera. I'll also repeat this side and then I'll come back and show you guys how it's looking then with the rear fenders on and if you see here this is going to be like a little bracket I think that helps clip the roof up I've already put one of them in and I do have another one of those here in the cup they are extremely tiny where the friggin hell did that go so I've just dropped one of the little screws, therefore it is handy to have a giant magnet on hand and then we can go swimming across the floor now and find it. Ta-da! We've got one side on there. Now for the other side. Also I were at Leyland at the weekend and uh, so big thanks to Ray. So I said I would get some accessories off. He sorted me out some little accessories there. Some tobacco pouches, matches, Rizzler, little pack of fisherman friends, a bottle of coke and a mug for the coffee. So we'll get those into the truck as well. Just to bring a little detail, character, make it look a little more, I don't know, realistic, should we say. There we have both of the fenders on there now. Oh yes, air intake. So I did this purple as well, just so everything's, I just wanted it purple, pretty much the whole thing. So, where does this go? I just shut the camera off there. I was actually yesterday. Um, you probably seen me looking at this puzzled. That's because I was puzzled. And I thought I'd done something wrong. 
basically the manual tells you to put this on the other way as I had it and when I was going to put it on the back of the cab the holes didn't line up with the mounts on the back of the cab so I had to break that off break in this here um, hence the black I've had to go over it with some Tamiya black rubber um, just to try and hide the cracks and just make it look like there is another piece of rubber that holds that to that when doing that because I've not bothered painting the back side of it as it goes up against the cab I realized I'd used up the rest of the purple doing the visor so I had to make a quick trip to Halfords to pick up a new tin for literally two squirts of purple so after I've purpled it lacquered it put it back together um, the purples slightly darker now when I did this I think I only put two quarts of purple on and I only put two quarts of purple on this time however I base coated the whole thing in silver didn't I so I'd forgot to put a silver coat under the purple coat hence it coming out slightly darker but I really can't be asked stripping it all back down to paint it again now but um, yeah that was not my fault I honestly thought it was going to be one of them moments where I put in the video it was at that moment he realised he took but no backtracking through the manual to where I'd actually built that I'll show you here that's the way that I'd constructed it so you have the three mounts to the left with the air intake pointing forwards the correct way is the three mounts to the right with the air intake pointing forwards so it wasn't my fault the manual has instructed me wrong so to get all the way through this build and to get to the end to finally just start piecing it together putting the final bits on to finish it I end up making a mess of it because the manual is wrong which really pissed me off to be honest now I've had missing lockers in it and I have had a couple of missing bits in the past I think it was some parts of the tanks which weren't in there and the customer service was absolutely fine sent me the new parts everything else like that the lockers unfortunately that's down to my fault for not realizing till later after they've gone bust and there's no longer those in stock it's a bit like that but to have that wrong in the manual and not have it mentioned here in the updates where they've revised things because it is wrong in the manual or this don't work or that don't work but it's not on the revision as to switch that bit around got there in the end but if we take a look now kind of my fault i did it in a mood painted it pissed off not really thought about what i was doing but the purple is slightly darker but it's not the end of the world so I'm just going to go ahead and finish building up with this because that's had like 24 hours now so it's probably still curing but I just want the thing finished now so in the meantime I'm going to get the little accessories we got from Ray Ray's 114 scale accessories and I'm going to get the visor on the roof and the roof on there then I can get this on there which sits over the roof get the other little bits and bats on there and then the next video we can do the wheels and then we can see the truck complete but yeah I'm a little bit nipped I had to take the time to go and get a new tin of paint for literally two friggin squirts well not to worry I will find a use for that paint on something else no doubt at some point all that aside let's crack on so the roof cap 
Now we do have a little mirror to go on the passenger side. You do get a left and right one of these. Again, this is just something I've made up. Those two pieces just clamped together, that is two pieces. And then there's that on little pins, so it pivots. And then that just like glues over the pivot pins, if you will. So we have a little mirror to construct to put on there. And then this can go on there, like so. So that's what it is. That's what I've made. Like I say, you have one for the right driver position, which as that's upside down, that's the one I'm going with. That'll go on the passenger side, just so the driver can look across and check the blind spots and have a look down under the cab, see if there's any cyclists under there or whether it's pushing any cars down the motorway or what have you. So I need my little craft knife or something just to score the little bit of paint off there put a few grooves in there so this is just going to there i think there it is and the visor See, there's they're like just little clips and they've got like little lips at the back so they are gonna just sit into the little grooves in the back of the roof cap here so this does just in fact clip on place no glue which is a surprise we'll just line all those up and Quite as easy as it looks. There we go. There's one, two, three. Come on. Oh, there's one. Yeah. Ah. Oh. So we get them on, and then the rest decide to pop off. Okay, two. And then it knocks that off at the same time. Probably put that on when this is on. So another little bit of torture from the manual there. We're in there. So we've got the visor on there. That's not going anywhere now. So now, we Put this on that way. So I will just give it another little drop of glue. Not too much because that's still a bit tacky. And what I'm going to do is just find... Cotton bud might do it. I'm just going to tuck that behind there. Just so it's clamping a bit of pressure down onto where that mirror's going to go. We do have a couple of little light lenses and stuff that need to go in the corner of the roof. So for the lenses, I will be using some white glue, some PVA glue, just then we're not fogging up those lenses. A little bit of white glue there. I'm just gonna paint that part of it. This part doesn't actually stick through and the white glue dries clear anyway. Clamp that one. Same on this side. Put that lens in there. Clamp that one. I'm just going to leave this lot just to set in place. Things like that. And while that's doing that we can go ahead and start constructing the mirrors which also require glue so we've got left side right side so before i put like the mirrors on 
I do just need to make a couple of little pilot holes here for another blind spot mirror marked out on the doors but there was no mention of that in the manual either just so we can get the two little pins on the blind spot mirror bracket and that can seat into there so now we've got the pilot holes done and that now fits into there so I'll do one mirror with you and then I shall go and construct the other mirror and relatively simple just gluing them together so like usual scuffed up the insides and the back for a nice bite and we have one mirror back to go on here slots into place like so so those little lights are done so if we just clamp that up like that's set and in the meantime while that one's setting we can just stick the nice shiny mirrors well we need a bit of a a good wipe just to get them shiny again <laughs> But they're just going to glue inside of there. They're really, really reflective. More glue. clamp and same for this one just work out if these go in a specific way that way right glue again clamp so while that mirrors setting um, if we just come back to the cab we can pop in the wipers and there's some like little grab handles which will go in there I'm sorry this video is a little bit all over I'm just gonna open up these holes again a little bit more Just because since it's been painted, it's kind of filled the holes a little bit and closed them up. So now I've just opened up the holes a little bit. We can uh, pop a bit of glue on there. More glue on there. Two wipers. Now the grab handles. <laughs> More glue. It's a little spot on either side there. Might be better with my tweezers for this. And then 
they're just going to push into there. Just hold them for a minute. And same on the other one. that one in there hold that one for a minute and once this is done the mirrors should then be ready to put together as a complete mirror so to speak there's little holes marked in the back and like little nibs on there and they're just gonna glue on like so and same for the bottom one So while I'm just letting the glue set on these little bits, I'll go ahead now and build up the other mirror. So while we just let the other mirror set, as these just glue on the sides as well, um, I thought we can just, like I say, I'm sorry this part of the build is all over, but I thought we could get into the cab now and just lay the accessories in. Um, get these little lights in and the roof on before we put the mirrors onto the cab because the last thing we want is to put the cab roof on and snap the mirrors off while doing that so these cab roof lights they're just gonna glue in place at either side again we'll use white glue on this bit one in same on the other side Now to add a few more little accessories into the cab. So a little coffee mug, got to have the coffee mug. And I'm just going to pop this on the little rubber mat on top of the dashboard there. A little pack of um, fishermen friends can also go on there with the coffee. The tobacco can just go on the dashboard. The little Rizzlers. Little box of matches there. They can just 
pop in there with a coffee mug. So it just brings it to life a little bit more. And in the background there, a little newspaper on the bed. And we've got the wipers in, the little grab handles. The bottle of cork. Um, we can just glue that onto the passenger seat. It appears the paper does not want to stick to the rubber. So, it's not a problem. We shall pop a pack of Fisherman Friends just in the corner of the dash over here. And the matches didn't want to stick either. Nor did the rubber mat. So I've knocked the mat. So maybe we'll try that with a bit of Yoohoo. That might be a better option for this little bit. And we have just had to rearrange the accessories slightly there. Move them onto the dash. As nothing really seems to be sticking to the rubber. So a bit of Yoohoo. under there maybe the rubber just absorbs the glue rather than lets it sit on it which would kind of make sense I guess just a ever so slight rearrangement there on the dash but not to worry now we can proceed and get the um, roof on there now the roof cap does in fact just clip on place now the roof cap does just clip on there, just to tuck them little bits behind the window and the rest should, well I'm hoping, just fall into place. This is why I didn't want the mirrors on. So the PVA was actually unsuccessful there. I'm just going to have to risk it with a cement. Oh well. If it fogs, it fogs. I hope it doesn't. I'm just going to run a bit of you who around the top. I hope this don't mess this up. <laughs> But at least you're seeing the bad bits as well. It's not all plain sailing. I don't just cut the videos and make them look easy. If things aren't going well, I will show that. And the fact of the manual being back to front has just totally like thrown me with the whole thing. And I don't know, I'm, I'm in a bit of a mood with it. But yeah, we'll just uh, leave that and just pray to someone that they don't fog up. They've been in, I don't know, five, ten minutes now, and touch wood, they haven't fogged up. And now the lights have set in after the PVA glue didn't want to hold it in, and they never did fog up. So now we can get the roof on and hopefully get back on track. Things just went from bad to worse. I just had to take a bit of time out from it because everything just started having a bit of a knock-on effect. So, the uh, roof. The roof. So this does just sit on here. I do have to, like, tuck it behind the corner of the windows there. Luckily, there's a little bit of flexibility there to help get that on. And if I just pull the other side out, so we can tuck it behind that side as well. There we go. Uh, looks like 
like I've managed to put a little scratch in the roof at some point. All this manhandling. But anyway, it is what it is. Now the roof is on there. The mirrors. I don't think I'm going to put them on yet and leave the kit without the mirrors because they're going to want gluing on and it's to me it's just not the right way of doing things for something so delicate so i'm probably going to ask about and see if we can maybe drill some tiny little screws and screw them onto the side there and it's probably going to be the better option or they're just going to keep getting knocked off and the paint and everything else with the glue is just going to make a mess of it. So now we've got the roof in place. I can now get back to what I originally started with the air intake. Ta-da! And now the holes line up. I'm just going to go down now and screw all them into place. Now we have that in place. There is a couple of little bits like the aerial and stuff to go onto the roof. So we've got two small little aerial mounts, one for either side. Again, a little splash of glue on those. And there is like some little lips on there that they just sit over. And then this other tiny little aerial here, which just sits to the rear of this one. And we actually have these small aerials, which are then just going to glue into the top of these ones on there, like so. It's a shame really to paint this and then have to glue everywhere on it. Should I have done all this, I probably would have pre-attached a lot of these little bits and just painted a lot of them in the same colour as the body. it really is a shame but that is the aerials on there now and also to go on there we have this but I am going to use white glue for that because I don't want it all just running and making more of a mess of it than it's already starting to get here and there I mean you can't see it it's just me being finicky and picking about the slightest slightest little things I mean, the glue is hidden under the objects that I've now put on there, but and I know it's there, but to look at it, you can't see it, but because I know it's there, it's just annoying.
And now that's in there with the aerials. Um, the actual like aerial kit for the roof. And there's a couple of little like sliders on there. Fortunately, this doesn't need glue. It just sits in and literally just push that forward. There we go. Now moving back to the rear of the cab where we put these little brackets in, these little things. They have a couple of little bits on either side which are just going to pop into these little grooves on here. And another one, same for this side. Now for the door handles, have a left and a right. And just hold that into position for a minute. And then it can set on its own. Same again on this side. Back to the front of the cab. For this little blind spot mirror there. So with the exception of the mirrors, which for obvious reasons I'm not really bothering with those at the moment, I do feel they'd be better kind of screwed into the sides. That guys is the Vekirk Volvo cab complete. Now I do have a bit of spray on wipe off car polish so I am going to go over the cab and give that like a light polish with just some spray shine stuff. That way I can just get all them fingerprints out and everything else from handling the cab and any grease from lying it here there and everywhere but wow what an amazing kit. I mean, it's it's annoyed me at times, <laughs> but it's kind of been worth it, I guess. Now it's finished. And it's just another level of details. So in the next one, we can uh, look at getting the wheels and tyres onto the truck. All these bags on here and parts there are all bits to put the wheels together and stuff. We've got the wheels and tyres here ready to go. Nice sets of jewelries for the rear and some nice thick super singles for the front. So I appreciate this one's been a bit of a long one and a very awkward one. Things have gone from like bad to worse. Things have been messing up, not going my way. Not going the way of the manual because the manual was wrong in places and then places where it's not told you to do stuff and kind of been left to fend for yourself when it's too late. But we got through it. I suppose that's all part of the joys of modelling. I'm happy we're now at this stage and we can move on and get it completed. So again, thanks for persisting through with that video. Hope you all enjoy what you're currently building if you are working on projects or just enjoyed the video in general. And that's it for this one. So I'll catch you in the next one. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that. Ciao for now guys.